getting increased restrictions where the figures are getting worse and we're getting an easing of restrictions where the figures are getting better. That all makes sense, doesn't it? But the government in Greece is relaxing some restrictions despite an increase in infections. The country's vitally important tourism industry is going to be watching very closely as Bethany Bell reports from Athens. The boats are in the dock, waiting for tourists. Evgeny Theodoridis and his team rent out catamarans and yachts for trips to the Greek islands. Their clients come from the UK, the United States and South Africa. April's normally the start of the season, but things are on hold because of the pandemic. Greece is hoping to open up to visitors in May, but it's not clear which countries will be ready. A lot of nations need to agree on specific protocols in order to allow people to travel. Uh, this uncertainty for sure does not help uh, anyone. On our end, we are doing the best effort possible in order to be ready, and we will be ready uh, when the borders open and we can welcome all guests throughout the world. There's still tough COVID restrictions in Greece, which has seen a surge of infections. But people are becoming increasingly frustrated. About one in five workers has a job in tourism. They're worried about the summer. The Acropolis is open again after months of lockdown. This place would normally be packed with people, but now it's mainly those living locally. And no one is quite sure when the foreign tourists will be able to return. Greece is planning to vaccinate all tourism workers and it's leading calls for vaccination certificates or passports to allow foreign visitors to travel. It's very important to have uh, the passport so because uh, uh, everybody will feel really safe and our motto is safety first for the staff of the archaeological sites and the museums and of course for the public. After the worst year for global tourism on record Greece is really hoping for a better summer. Bethany Bell, BBC News, Athens. Yeah, aren't we all? Now do stay with us here on BBC World News. Still